Next question is 2.24. Here it says based on the solute solvent interaction arrange the following in order of increasing solubility in N octane and explain for cyclohexene KCl, CH3OH and CH3Cl. So first before you try to show what is a solubility when you add cyclohexane in N octane what solubility is it or when you are KCl in N octane what is the solubility understand what is the nature of N octane. Now remember N octane is a hydrocarbon all right and when they are hydrocarbon they are non-polar in nature so if they are non-polar we have always learned this from lower grades that when you have a non-polar solute your solvent should also be non-polar or when you have a polar solute the solvent should also be polar so this way polar solutes are soluble in polar solvent and non-polar solutes are soluble in non-polar solvent. So now that you know the nature of N octane, let's see what is the nature of each of these compounds. So here we can say that cyclohexane, just the cyclic ring, cyclic hexane ring is a hydrocarbon and they are non-polar. Alright. So that is the nature. In the second one, when you look at KCl, KCl is a proper ionic compound. K plus and Cl minus ions, they are ionic and they will have polarity, which is the highest in this case. Next is CH3OH. In case of CH3OH, you obviously will have a dipole moment because all electrons will be pushed towards oxygen. Along with that, if it's mixed with water or any of these solvents, they will have hydrogen bonding. So you have two reasons here that they are dipole and you also have hydrogen bonding. Last compound is acetonitrile or CH3CN. In this case, all electrons move towards nitrogen, therefore exhibiting a dipole moment. So now that you know what their polarities are, alright. So based on polarity, if you are trying to arrange them, cyclohexane has the least polarity. After this, you will have acetonitrile who has only dipole moment. Then you will have a CH3OH who has even hydrogen bonding. And the last one is for an ionic compound. So the highest polarity is for KCl. Now the question asked is you need to see for solubility. So based on the polarity, when you look at solubility, we know that a non-polar solute will be soluble in non-polar solvent. So now the solubility will be other way. The one that is non-polar is the one that will get solubilized easily with a non-polar solute. So when you write solubility, it is going to be cyclohexane which is non-polar will be more soluble than CH3CN which will be more soluble than CH3OH and which is much higher than KCl. So when you have a polar solvent, polar so solvent over here, polar solute, it will not easily dissolve with a non-polar solvent. Alright, so remember this method how you are going to identify which one is going to be soluble more.